Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are still reciting from Surah Yunus, and in particular, I have chosen this very surah because we'll come across the story of Yunus later, inshallah. He was locked down inside the whale's tummy, if you want. And we are now stuck, not in the whale's tummy, but we are stuck. But nevertheless, inshallah ta'ala, Allah will give us relief. So among the verses which we recited, actually each and every verse we can probably reflect for hours. But one of these verses, the, the last verse which I finished with, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَسْتَمِعُونَ إِلَيْكَ أَفَأَنْتَ تُسْمِعُ الصُّمَّ وَلَوْ كَانُوا لَا يَعْقِلُونَ Some of them are listening to you. But in fact, they did not believe in you. In the previous verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, about the Quran, the last uh, rak'ah we, we recited uh, these verses which talks about the truth of the Quran and people around the Quran are different groups. Those who believe in the Quran, so one of these groups, those who believe in the Quran, and the other group, those who disbelieve in the Quran. And Allah has given choice to, pe to the people. If you want to believe, you have the choice. If you, don't, if you do not want to believe, you have the choice. So, and accordingly, the Quran is uh, challenging those who are not uh, believers and say, okay, uh, bring a surah from these surahs. Just, this is a challenge. And by the way, this is uh, the, the challenge part uh, three. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, number one, he challenged the uh, Arab at that time, and they are the linguistics and uh, uh, masters of the Arabic. Allah challenged them first to bring something like the Quran in its totality. So it's fact to be missing. Bring something like it. And then when they couldn't, then Allah reduced the challenge. And he said, bring 10 surahs like it. Fact to be ashri suwarin. Bring 10 surahs like it. They couldn't. Here in Surah Yunus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, bring one surah. Only one surah. Fact to be suratin. Only one. They couldn't. And then they still listening to you, pretending that they are interested, but they are not. And the, the special uh, word which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used here, So some of them are listening to you, yes? But Allah called them like deaf. So how come at the same time he's calling them that they are listening, but they are deaf? Yes, because this is something beautiful in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used many times. He treats somebody who has faculties as somebody who has no uh, faculties. The, the, the sense of, of uh, sight, the sense of hearing. So if you are not using them to see the truth, to follow the truth, to hear the truth, then Allah treats you as somebody who has none of these senses. So this is why he called them like deaf. And in the, the second ayah, which we recite inshallah later, he called them as well blind, although they have eyes. Yes? But Allah called them blind because they cannot see the truth. So blindness actually and deafness is not in the senses. It's in the heart, as Allah stated. And we tend to do this sometimes. Uh, we pretend that we are listening to somebody and reality is we are on cloud nine or another planet. And then when he asks you, okay, what did I say? Hmm? Okay, you need to be focused. So Allah Azza wa is saying that part of them are listening, pretending that they are listening, they are interested, but reality is they are not. They are not listening. So we need to be careful. When we read the Quran, we need to listen to the Quran, not in our ears, in our heart. And this is where 
the light will come through, inshallah ta'ala. So it's not enough just to hear the Qur'an. We need to engage our hearts with the Qur'an in order to benefit from the Qur'an and apply the Qur'an, inshallah ta'ala. And ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make this month for us the month of the Qur'an to, to reflect upon the Qur'an and apply the Qur'an. Amen.